Hey everybody, we're in lesson 2.7 explaining climate change. Yeah, we gotta we gotta put together all of our thoughts and try to organize um, all of these concepts that we've uh, learned at this point into some sort of coherent uh, argument. Um, our unit question, chapter question, investigation question, all these are the same, they have not changed. So our investigation question again, why does an increase in carbon dioxide or methane result in more energy entering than exiting the Earth's system? This is really what we looked at yesterday. We were looking at, um, what exactly happens when energy interacts with carbon dioxide and methane? And what we saw was it gets redirected. It gets absorbed by those molecules and then redirected. Sometimes it gets redirected back out to space. In that case, you would have the same amount of energy entering and exiting. However, sometimes it gets redirected back to Earth. And so since you have all of those things happening, um, we do end up with more energy entering than exiting if we have an increase in carbon dioxide and methane. So, hey, let's go ahead and go to the lesson today. Uh, 2.7, we have a letter from uh, Dr. Irene Lee. I'm assuming Irene is a doctor. Uh, but first, can I read for us our introduction here? Lesson 2.7, explaining climate change. The head climatologist at World Climate Institute has sent a message asking for your help. Today, you will make a model and write an explanation to show how increasing carbon dioxide and methane are affecting Earth's temperature. Your explanation will be used to educate the public on this important topic. Oh, a oh, little prestige. Uh, our argument's going to be used to educate the public. What do you know? Okay, here's, um, here's our letter from Irene. Um, let me see if I can actually pull it up here for you. I probably can somehow, some way. If I go to all projections... Not that one, but this one. There it is. Uh, from Irene Lee, two student climatologists. That's you. Uh, subject, helping others understand climate change. Thank you for all your hard you're welcome. work on the subject of climate change these last few weeks. Being able to explain why our climate is changing and why Earth's ice is melting is vital. Today, I'd like you to create a report that explains these climate changes, idea, these climate change ideas to a general audience. Be sure your writing is clear and includes visuals so people who don't know how much about this topic will find it meaningful. WCI, that's right here, World Climate Institute, uh, hopes that if people understand, they will take action and support laws that will help with this serious problem. Your report is a valuable part of WCI's mission to educate the public so they can better understand this topic. We appreciate your help. Well, great. Um, uh, writing is clear, includes visuals. Uh, to a general audience, what does that mean? That means so that anybody would be able to understand it. Not You don't have to be a scientist in order to understand it or have to have taken this class in order to understand some of these concepts, but you will try to explain it in a way that anyone would be able to understand, follow along and say, oh, okay, kind of makes sense. Uh, so let's click out of here and let's take a look at the warm up. Which is, uh, read the following message while we, oh, there it is right there, I didn't have to project it. Um, Hey, what are some important ideas that you would want to share with people who don't know very much about climate change? I mean, basically, what are some of the main things that you've learned that you think are an important way to, uh, important information to share? So go ahead and do that. Uh, take a moment, write down your answer, pause. Hey, remember how in Irene's letter she said she wanted a visual? Well, here it is right here. We're going to use the modeling tool in order, order to create a visual that shows climate change. Um, and the effect of carbon dioxide. So you're going to click on this one, carbon dioxide uh, energy path. Uh, create a model. It says that you can add to your report for the World Climate Institute. Um, here's the thing. Uh, you can, uh, by just pressing hand in, that should uh, put the screenshot of your model right here in this box if, when you press hand in. And then after you create your model, um, make sure you answer these questions, choose the uh, correct statement um, in order to answer this question. When there's an increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, something happens to the energy, which causes temperatures to something. Great. Great. Uh, I will make sure I do that. Hey, and uh, part two. Um, if you have time, create a model that shows the methane energy path. Hey, guess what? Go ahead and just do carbon dioxide. I will not ask you to do the methane one. Uh, so go ahead and make uh, the carbon dioxide model Hey, check this out. It's a possible answer um, that somebody created. Uh, they showed how normally energy will enter Earth's system and it will exit Earth's system. But with the presence of carbon dioxide, as we see by this diamond here, um, energy enters, uh, 
interacts with this carbon dioxide and gets redirected back down to Earth. So ultimately we have um, more energy entering Earth's system than exiting, which is going to cause temperatures to increase. All right, student to student discussion activity three. Hey, tell you what, skip this. Go ahead and skip this. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, where you are writing uh, an answer to this question, why does temperature increase when the amount of carbon dioxide or methane in the air system increases? I'm going to say, hey, why don't you just go ahead and go straight to activity four, writing about climate change for the public. Here's the big uh, press release that the World Climate Institute is going to use. Okay, Writing an explanation of climate change. We know that global average temperature on Earth is increasing and ice is melting. We've seen this. We've seen the data. Uh, we've seen the trends. We also know that the amount of carbon dioxide and methane has increased. Why does temperature increase when the amount of carbon dioxide or methane in the Earth system increases? That is what you are answering right there. Um, to improve your explanation, hey, refer to your model. You just created a model. I just gave you an example of a possible um, answer to the model. Refer to that. Say, hey, it like the model shows, blah, blah, blah. You might probably want to say something about redirecting. Um, here's our word bank down here, atmosphere, carbon dioxide, energy, methane, re oh, there it is, redirect, surface, and temperature. Try to use every single one of these words. The more comfortable you are with using these words in your explanation, the better your response is going to be on your uh, end of unit assessment. And you're going to convince me that you know what you're talking about if you can use these words correctly. So if there's any of these words that really not sure about, look them up, look them up and try to find out um, how you could use those in your explanation. Go ahead, work on that right now. Pause. I am excited to uh, read some of those explanations and uh, hopefully give you some feedback on those. Uh, hey, look, homework number five, uh, complete any unfinished work from to what? Since when? <laughs> With, with, when, when has this ever been homework in Amplify? I don't know. Go to number six, the self-assessment. I keep getting uh, emails. Mr. Wigan, if it says optional, is it optional? Well, I email back and I say, hey, watch the videos. Obviously, I didn't because in the videos, I tell you, do it. Um, so, yeah, this is not optional. I do want you to do this. This is helpful for you to evaluate your own understanding. And if there are any of these things that you have questions about or you are confused about, please, please reach out to me and uh, ask me so I can help you. Um, I will try to give you feedback on the argument that you write, uh, but I also want you to go through this to uh, so you can evaluate yourself. All right. Hey, that's it. 2.7. Chapter 2 is in the books uh, after this. So good luck. See you next time.